Good morning. Thank you for joining me this morning as we as we slow down, as we spend some time together in God's Word. And um, over the Thanksgiving break, I hope you got a chance to, to rest a little bit. Um, and as we enter into this season of Advent together, as we look forward to celebrating uh, the coming of Jesus, and as we look forward to the day when he'll, he'll come again, um, this is a great time, a season of preparation. It's a time where we... Uh, we always want to be spending time in God's Word, but especially during times like this, this the uh, the calendar is a reminder, um, the liturgical calendar in Advent and and Lent and those types of seasons as a to spend more time uh, with Jesus, to spend more time with God. And so, I was reading a book by uh, Tim Keller called Prayer, and uh, I highly recommend it. It's a great book. Uh, that kind of walks through, you know, the purpose of prayer, the power of prayer, and, and one of the places um, that he that he lands on, that is uh, uh, is a great great psalm for reflection is Psalm one, and so I thought we would read that together today. So let me read that for us. This is from Psalm one. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And that can be translated the word or the instruction of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season and its leaves do not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are chaff that the wind drives away. I'm just going to stop there. So one of the things that Tim Keller points out is that in prayer, um, we are communicating with God, right? And we're speaking with God. And um, it's a two-way street. It's a, it's a communication. Whenever you speak with someone, and if you want to have a relationship with someone, if you want to have a relationship with Jesus, if you want to have a relationship with God, you have to speak to that person. And imagine, for example, if you had a best friend, a roommate, or um, a spouse, and you literally never, ever spoke to that person. You acknowledge them. You know that they are in your life. Um, you think that they are important. You know all these aspects about their character and their nature, but you never, ever speak to them. And then maybe a moment of crisis happens and you turn to them and say, hey, could you help me out with this crisis real quick? That would really not be a really strong, great relationship. It would not be a great marriage. It would not be a great friendship. And the same is true with our relationship with God, that God is a person. And it's not that he is in need of us, that, that, that he needs us to talk to him constantly, like he's this needy God. But if we want to have a great relationship with God, if we want to um, abide in him, well, we have to, we have to speak to him. And, and that means us praying to God. Um, and a great model for that, of course, is the Lord's Prayer. But it also means listening to him. And as a reminder, the way in which we listen to him Yes, it is through uh, the Spirit inside of us, but primarily the main way we, and we can be sure that it's actually Him speaking to us, is through His Word. Is through spending time in God's Word, through meditating in it, to marinate on it, to, to study it, to read it over and over, and to listen to what those words have to say. And that is the way in which God has deigned that he will primarily speak to us to give us strength and nourishment. And that we might be like a tree that's planted by a river, a tree that regardless of these circumstances, regardless of periods of drought, regardless of times when there's no rain or the seasons are changing, a tree that is deeply rooted next to a river is going to prosper and thrive. It's, it's an evergreen tree, a tree that is always green, a tree that will always prosper, a tree that will bear fruit in seasons, um, not all the time, but in seasons, is one that listens to God, that sp spends time meditating in his word day and night. And that might sound overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be meditating on God's word day and night. Well, this is a discipline like anything else, right? So begin with just a little bit. Maybe it's um, setting aside five to 10 minutes a week to listen to a devotional. Uh, whether that's me or um, you could buy one of those little devotional books or there's apps with little devotionals in it. Or maybe it's spending um, a little bit of time each week uh, and then as you progress, you spend a little bit of time each day. 
but maybe you set aside when you wake up and when you go to sleep, when you eat lunch, to just spend some time in prayer, praying to God and then listening to him through his word so that we can deeply abide in him and so that each day we become more and more like him, reflecting his glory and able to persevere through whatever surrounding circumstances that are around us. Friends, I encourage you, open your Bibles, spend time with Jesus, spend time with God, listening to what he has to say. Um, he loves you dearly and he wants a relationship with you, a deep and abiding one. Friends, thank you for your time with me this morning. I look forward to our time every week and I'll see you again next week. Happy Advent and happy Christmas and God bless.